Oh, what's on? Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or...? All right. Now, on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Nice. A bit fancy now, aren't we? I don't think you have some of that wine on you, though. Here, I'll help you out. Likewise. Sometimes... I kind of wish that we weren't so... How do you say this? Well... Renowned. At this point, most of Skyrim has heard of your name, and half of it is trying to kill us. It seems like it's almost impossible to have a nice, leisurely stroll outside city walls without getting prounced upon or attacked. If we could, I would like to just leave here, you know? Travel to some distant place, settle down, live the peaceful life. Not to be known or seen as heroes or great warriors, but as simple country folk, really. I don't even know what to say. Earlier, I just saw you talk to a dragon, not only in words, but through literally breathing out fire. And you seem so relaxed with it. It's almost as if you knew what to expect somehow. At least, now though, you have this cool and nifty shout. Not the Dragon Ren one, but it's still something. Just don't use that thing when I'm nearby, okay? Fire and I don't necessarily get along. Hmm. I was just thinking about Winterhold. When I was last there, it wasn't so... crumbly. It used to be a sprawling city. Everything being torn down, the whole place looking, well... dead. In fact, back in my day, the College of Winterhold would be the first place anyone would go for any kind of magic or historical thing. So, what do you want to talk about now? Wow, looks like you're in a philosophical mood tonight. In terms of what I think, everyone is born as a blank slate. An infant, for example, doesn't know their right hand from their left. You can't hold them accountable for anything, because they can't grasp the concept of what is good and what is evil. However, when you get to a certain age, you start learning these things. That's when people can start erring towards the more good part of the spectrum, or quite the opposite. However, once you're on a certain end of this spectrum, it doesn't mean that you'll stay this way for the rest of your life. Some people rise as heroes and die as villains. Others, they work to overcome their evil with great effort. Alright. So... What do you want to talk about now? Well, this one is a hard one. While I do like Ultimar wine, I would have to say the crown goes to Cyrodiilic brandy. The texture is just so... unique. The flavors are strong, but not overpowering, and it sort of has a nutty, chocolatey aftertaste. Though, it doesn't help that the brandy is so hard to find in Skyrim these days. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes.